Hello, welcome back everybody to the Geek Tech Show. Well, how's my hair today? I hope it looks good. And today's video will be featuring this. This is the special edition Nebo S L Y D E Plus flashlight. It has 4x power in it. Oh, ho! Whew, I just blinded myself. And the best thing about this is its ability to have something just amazing, something out of the movie Star Wars, basically. Or I don't know if you see one of those 80 movies in the 80s. They used to have this cool movie where they had this glow stick or something like that. And this one features something very unique and unusual. So you take this like that, pull this out, and you have this light. It's just coming right out of it. This is like so futuristic. Now, you think this is cool? Wait to see this. You press on here and it changes. And it even becomes a blinker, emergency blinker as well. So this light just does everything for you all in one small package. Now, this is what I call awesome. And cool and its ability to even attract flies and kill them with one laser pointing shoot hand on the trigger got it it's still alive get out of here <laughs> Anyways, right now I'm gonna go into hands-on review and you can see this hands-on, hands-free, how it actually looks like and all the awesome features that is included with this. So we have here the flower and this is the Nabo camera flash flashlight and you can see I'm a big huge Nabo fan. I have the smallest ones, the miniature one, and this is USB charger right here. And as you open this up, there is actually a USB location where you can put this in and charge it up. Now there is a reason why I'm not really a fan of the USB charger. It is because the battery, once it runs out, it's pretty hard to replace in an emergency situation and you do need the charger cable. If you lose that, that's it. This thing is useless. So that's why I actually like this one right here, which is the original Nabo Red Light. And since I had this one, I decided to get the camouflage one. Long and behold, as I got this, I'm surprised and disappointment at the same exact time and here is why simply the size of this i was expecting this to be miniature in reality it is humongous now this could be a plus or a minus when it comes to this but i'm also was very surprised to see two extra pairs of batteries that are included now you would need this four batteries AA to power this up. Original one only had three of them included in here, hence its small size. So this one is four, this one is three. This is super lightweight, the original. This one is extremely heavy. It is heavy because it's heavy duty this is what it's for now the reason why i decided to get this one is pretty much that we have an actual battery that i can put in here and in an emergency situation you can always have a, a few spell of those and you don't always have access to a charger so you always have to have kind of variety but i suggest if you're really going for something for emergency this will be the kind of light you'll be getting so the Nebo flashlight, I like the camouflage, I like how it actually looks like. But there was a few features here that I love about this flashlight. The first one 
is how beautiful it is designed. You can see camouflage over here, it's a red right there, and this handle right here, which is screaming blasphemy right now. It also features a 4x zoom. So you keep on moving this, it gives you a lot of zoom capability. When you turn this on, you can see which way you want this to work. You want to have a huge amount or do you want to concentrate this in a very small location and it is really powerful it doesn't shine through my hand but it really does shine lots of light now one of the best features of this thing is something that is just incredible there is an extension right here you move it and you get this amazing light that comes out and shines like the sun Whew. it is so bright now you might be thinking what in the world do you need something like this one it is really a surprise self-defense thing to bind your opponent two you can take pictures of different objects as a photographer I need all kinds of light to shine at the things I take pictures of but sometimes I need an external light so this gives me an opportunity to do exactly that as I pull this out I get the external light and I can figure out how much I need I need a little bit just a little do I need the full effect and I can move this any way I want now nothing is going to be complete until you have something known as diffuser for this so to have a diffuser all you really need is just a white piece of paper that's right so you're putting it like this opening this up and now you still have the white but it's being diffused for the white light and you can use this to light up different objects which is this right here when you take pictures you're having very nice shade and effect that we can use with this so you no longer really need an external light this does everything for you now that is brilliant if not amazing and to make this even better this is magnetic uh -huh. that's right this piece is magnetic over here so you can attach this to some surface in case you need to do some handiwork overall this is just amazing well hello hello look how dark it is outside now it is time to test this flashlight out unfortunately one of the things about this it's a little hard to see the ignition button here it does have a little slight glow to it so turning this on you can see how much light it actually gives me and here you can go ahead and make sure that the light itself is very focused with using the 4x now this does go pretty high up right into the sky you can see this is a humongous tree here and this one is even bigger and it goes all the way to the top of the tree in fact a tree in the background in the distance it goes that that one as well including this one over here but if you want to do the flood light, you can see the light for the entire tree. So let's go ahead and do that. Check it out. This is a lot of light. And if you wanted to see like, what's going on in the entire front yard, you can see what is going on. And you can focus right to specific areas of the yard itself. This is 
very very bright flashlight now on the other hand if you want to turn this off and you want to turn on the glow stick see over here this is the original version here's the red one I love this one this is this is awesome you can walk with this and it still keeps your night vision on because it is red light you need more of it you just keep on pressing on it and you can kind of see the tree as a stuff here now it is not pitch black over here but it is kind of dark and I like this it's like military style of a light you're walking you can see what is going on here now if you don't need this anymore or if you want to make sure you just want this to be emergency light you do this so it just turns on and off for a little bit then move it in now it is nothing the only issue you have with this is to find to turn it on it's kind of hard to find this button and this is probably the only thing I dislike about this flashlight other than that look at this you can see there's a bench over there and now you can't see anything now oh look at that this is just super extremely bright light very great flashlight I love it turn this off you just have to close it up mm -hmm.